In this video, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite ways to run match defense against five wide in Madden 23. A lot of people ask me, Cody, how do you run match coverage against five wide? We're gonna show you in this video. I'm in the four six playbook, three three cub. We're gonna be taking a look at the cover four show two. That is a cover four quarters style of defense. We're gonna make sure that our zone coverage is set to match. And really important, come out in the nickel 3-3 three, three formation and put safeties at the linebacker position. That's going to give you the best personnel possible for defending a formation like the 5 wide. Now, if you want to get access to my entire match coverage defensive ebook or my 3-3 three, three cub defense, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is in the description. $10 gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. All right, guys, so let's talk about cover four show two or match coverage as it pertains to five wide. I believe with I believe that you want to be in some type of cover four quarters uh, when defending five wide. I think it does the best. And it's really simple. The only problem is when they send three vertical. Um, who is number three? Who's the number three receiver in the formation? That is Dave Casper or the tight end, right? Cooper Cup would be the number one receiver. Garrett Wilson would be the number two receiver. And Dave Casper would be the number three receiver. Now, if I put Dave Casper on a streak and I'm going to put Wilson on a post, maybe do something like this. What you're going to notice here is when we send three vertical, a lot of the times the defense is going to basically get lost in everything that we're doing from a vertical perspective. Another example could be the very play verticals itself against this defense. You're going to see here a lot of trouble for defending that number two receiver. Now, by and large, the easiest way to defend in this in this game, in my opinion, from a five wide perspective, and I'll give you another example. We're going to kind of create some routes here. Um, but let's say that we give them something like this. Here's your match coverage. And as you can see, you know, Casper's open to the sideline, right? You have to be a little careful with how you run your match coverage. And so really the biggest key to me for running match defense against five wide is we want to first foremost we want to be base aligned why would you want to be base aligned against five wide because now you can blitz five wide if i just simply globally blitz my linebackers you're going to notice that a lot of times you're going to get instant pressure that's going to help you with any kind of qb draw it's also going to help you with any kind of anything right because you're always able to say okay i'm going to blitz you now i'm going to blitz you out of out of this and it could be something as simple as crashing your line out, blitzing your linebackers, and now you've got pressure coming at them, and you've got man lock on the back side. So how do we run match defense out of a base alignment? What I like to do with this is we're then going to essentially um, just shade our coverage underneath. I love to shave my, shade my match coverage underneath. You don't have to do that. You can leave it as it is. But the biggest adjustment to making match coverage defend five wide better is to take the linebacker that is blitzing on this play and man him up on the number three receiver. In this example, it is the tight end. So wherever he goes, I've got man lock on the tight end. So if I do a combination, something that looks like this right here, you see that now everything on the sideline, all of these deep bomb routes are going to be completely bagged, and they're going to have to work over the middle of the field, which is where my user is going to be. Again, I think one of the biggest keys to defense is to base a line against five wide because it's going to kind of keep you from the big plays. And then, you know, if they're running, let me give you another example of a concept that you might see some kind of Y cross, these hard flats are going to help. And then your match coverage is going to play um, accordingly. So to me, this is the biggest key for playing good defense against five wide in this game. You have to, in my opinion, make sure that that guy is manned up with the number three receiver. Now, while we're here, I wanted to talk about a couple of other five wide formations that I think is super, super uh, important to talk through. And that would be an, an example would be something like this empty, empty five wide out of the Washington playbook. Formations like this, the same exact applies. Now, while we don't have to base align this, um, we're going to still man up that tight end. You don't have to take those quarter flats and put them on hard flats. I just think it's a little bit, I, I just find it to be a little helpful. But anyway, as you can see here, you've got that guy manned up. You're going to help here and kind of lurk the middle. And you see how the match coverage is kind of forming to the routes that your opponent puts on the field. Manning up that number three receiver is so important. Whether you do it out of your slot or you do it out of your um, you know, out of your, out of your linebacker, uh, you know, kind of selection. Here's an example of kind of a match beater. And you see here match coverage handled it really, really well. And we're able to get great sheds. 
Okay, you have to understand how your quarters coverage works. And quarters coverage, by and large, the main thing they struggle to defend in quarters is the number three receiver. The same is true out of the bunch, right? If I'm playing gun bunch, I've got to make sure that I've got that number three receiver manned up. That is so important in defending gun bunch. Now you see here, I've got that guy manned up, and we're able to form to everything else that they're doing on the offensive side of the ball. From all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including my entire guide to understanding match coverage, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is in the description for just $10. It's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks.